to WIC. Welcome 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 to WIC. WIC stands for Women, Infants, and Children. Hi, I'm Christina Flores. WIC was created to provide nutrition services and supplemental healthy foods to eligible women, infants, and children. It does not provide all the food you or your child needs every day, but it helps. Let's take a look at who may qualify. Pregnant women, those who have recently had a baby, women who are breastfeeding, along with infants and children up to age five. All participants must meet certain eligibility requirements. You must live in the area served by your local WIC clinic. Bring a current bill or a rent or mortgage receipt showing your street address, or you may bring a current Medicaid card. Post office box addresses are not acceptable. You must show that your total household income is within WIC guidelines. To verify your income, you should bring all paycheck stubs showing the last 30 days of pay for each person in your household who works, or if you currently participate in any of the following programs. Medicaid, the Food Stamps Program, also known as SNAP, the Family Employment Program, also known as TANF. Then you automatically qualify for WIC. Just bring your current Medicaid card or letter from one of these other programs to the clinic. You will need to show identification for each family member applying for WIC. This may be a picture ID, a birth certificate, or a current Medicaid card. For infants, a hospital card, document, or bracelet with the last name and the baby's date of birth is also okay. You must have a nutrition-related health need, which will be determined by WIC staff. They will measure the height and weight of you and your children. Good job! And if required, they will take a small blood sample to measure the level of iron. A WIC health professional will meet with you to discuss these results. She will ask you questions about your eating habits, current and past medical conditions, and other nutrition-related concerns your family may have. She will listen to you and answer your questions. Once you're certified on the WIC program, you'll start receiving checks to purchase healthy WIC foods. You'll also make regular visits to the clinic where you'll receive educational materials, one-on-one -on -one counseling, online or group classes, and breastfeeding support. WIC health professionals, as well as peer counselors, who are women who have breastfed, are available to help you and answer any of your questions about breastfeeding. We support your decision to breastfeed. At WIC, you'll get referral information for other programs you and your family may need. Many clinics also offer immunizations, well child exams, family planning, and other health services. WIC may be able to help coordinate your services with these other programs. Being on the WIC program does not affect your ability to be on any other program. WIC will provide healthy food for you and your children. Baby food, fruits and vegetables, and iron-fortified infant cereal for babies older than six months, and baby food meats for fully breastfed babies. If you're not sure whether your baby is ready for solid foods, ask your WIC health professional. Women and children over one will receive 100% juice that contains vitamin C. Proof cereals are low in sugar and many contain whole grains. Whole grain choices are whole wheat bread, soft corn or whole wheat tortillas, and brown rice, which are great sources of B vitamins, vitamin E, and fiber. Milk is a good source of protein, calcium, vitamin A, and D. Women and children aged two and older will receive reduced fat milk. Whole milk is only given to one-year-old children. WIC provides eggs, also a good source of protein. Fully breastfeeding women receive cheese and canned fish, such as tuna or salmon. Beans and peanut butter are also good sources of protein. Fresh fruits and vegetables are a very important part of a healthy diet. You may choose what types of fresh fruits and vegetables to buy from the Utah WIC authorized food list. This list shows what foods you may purchase with your WIC checks. Be sure to take the list with you when you shop. 
If you have any questions about the authorized food list or what foods are allowed, ask your WIC clinic staff. In addition to healthy foods, the WIC program will also provide you with nutrition services. You can learn how to feed your baby, shop on a budget, prepare quick nutritious meals, handle picky eaters, and many other helpful tips. Be sure to let your WIC health professional know what you would like to learn. Let's take a look at how you get your WIC food. You will receive checks at your clinic to buy food at WIC approved grocery stores. The size, quantity, and description of the food to be purchased is printed on the check. You will also get a cash value voucher to purchase fresh fruits and vegetables. You will receive a WIC ID packet that must be signed at the clinic. Bring your ID packet with you each time you visit the clinic and whenever you shop. Your WIC ID packet contains important information, such as your next appointment and what you'll need to bring with you. It is your responsibility to call the clinic if you need to reschedule an appointment. At checkout, sign the checks using black ink. It is important to keep your signature inside the lines of the signature box. Your signature must match the signature on your WIC ID packet or the cashier will not accept the checks. Your checks can only be used within the first date to use and the last date to use. You do not have to spend all your checks in one shopping trip. It's best to use them throughout the month. That way you'll have fresh food all month long. WIC foods are not meant to be stored or shared. They should only be used by the WIC participant. You may buy WIC food only at approved stores. Most stores will have a sticker that identifies them as accepting WIC checks. Your clinic will have a list of these approved stores. When you're in the store, it is your responsibility to know which foods you can buy and the package sizes allowed. Take some time before shopping to look at your checks and your Utah WIC authorized food list. You'll notice that some food items listed require you to purchase a store brand or private label. These brands meet the WIC nutrition requirements and usually cost less. They save the WIC program money so that WIC may serve as many people as possible. It is important for you to keep track of the cost of the fruits and vegetables you are selecting. Make sure not to go over the maximum value of your cash value vouchers. A produce scale will help you estimate the total cost. Be a smart shopper. Produce in season or on sale will help you get the most from your WIC cash value vouchers. If you have trouble finding a WIC food that you need, please speak to store staff. To make things easier, separate your WIC items from your other purchases. If you are using more than one WIC check, Keep the items for each check separate. Let the cashier know you are using WIC checks and show your WIC ID packet. Hi, I got some WIC items and here are the checks. Great, let's take care of your WIC items first. Okay. The cashier will make sure your items are the same as the items listed on the checks and the authorized food list. The cashier will bring up the items on each check separately. He will write in the total purchase price and then give the check back to you to sign. Do not sign the check until the cashier has written in the purchase price. The total is eleven forty-nine. Okay. Could you please sign the check? I also need to see your WIC ID packet. Okay. Make sure your signature stays within the signature box. After you sign the check, the cashier will look at Thanks. your WIC ID packet to verify your signature. Great, thank you. In most cases, it happens that smoothly and you're on your way with your groceries. Now let's see what might happen if you try to use your WIC checks to buy food that is not approved. I'm sorry, but this fruit punch is not approved by WIC. My kids really like that punch. Well, WIC is a nutritional program and only lets you buy 100% juice. Would you like to get a WIC approved juice? Sure. I guess I'll take this back and go grab some orange juice. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay, thanks. You can see it is very important to buy exactly the items that are printed on your checks and on the authorized food list. Follow the instructions of the cashier when asked to correct a purchase or ask to speak to a manager if you disagree with a cashier or have any concerns about your shopping experience. 
You can select another person as your proxy or as an additional endorser. They can help you when you're sick or unable to go shopping or pick up your WIC checks. Your proxy or additional endorser must show ID and sign your WIC packet at the clinic. Then they may shop for you and sign your checks at the store. The cashier will make sure the signature on the check matches the signature on the ID packet. Let's see what happens when signatures do not match. Hi, how are you today? Fine, thank you. These are my WIC purchases. Very good. I just need to see your checks, please. Okay. Thanks. I've written in the total price. I just need your signature, and I need your WIC ID packet to verify that signature. Okay. Thanks. Um, whose checks are these? Well, they're my daughter's. Uh, she's homesick with the flu, and I just came to do a little shopping for her. She said it would be fine for me to sign the check. I'm sorry, but I can't accept this check. Your signature is not on the ID packet. What can I do? In this case, the daughter should have written a note to the clinic, allowing her mother to be a proxy and sign the WIC ID packet. Remember, if you are unable to do your own shopping, it is very important to have a proxy or an additional endorser. Each WIC applicant must read the rights and responsibilities at the clinic and sign the signature pad. This states that all the information you provide to WIC is true and accurate, and that you agree to abide by WIC policies, including the following. Be respectful and courteous to WIC staff and store employees. Tell clinic staff if you have reduced or stopped breastfeeding. Give them correct information about your health, address, and income. Treat your WIC checks like cash. Tell clinic staff immediately if a check has been lost or stolen. Only purchase authorized WIC food with your checks. You cannot return WIC food for cash or credit. If you do not follow the WIC rules, you may be taken off the WIC program, or you may be asked to repay the program. If you feel you're not being treated fairly, please talk to the WIC supervisor at your clinic. WIC is an equal opportunity program. Any information requested about your racial and ethnic background is for record keeping only. It does not affect your eligibility. Healthy women giving birth to healthy babies and healthy children growing up with the best start. WIC looks to a bright future by giving children a healthier beginning. Your child has you and you have WIC.